Hello, UW alumni and friends. Welcome back to the Cowboy Alumni Pre-Game Pep Talks, brought to you by Black Hills Energy, Premier Bone and Joint Centers, and the UW University Store. Let's get ready for the 71st meeting between the Cowboys and the Utah State Aggies with an exciting pre-game pep talk featuring former Cowboy quarterback, Casey Bramlett. This Thursday, November 19, the Cowboys welcome the Aggies to War Memorial Stadium. The Cowboys stand at one and two and are coming off of a loss to CSU in the border war, 34 to 24. The Aggies enter the game with a record of 0 and four after losing to Fresno State, 35 to 16. In their last meeting in 2019, the Cowboys lost to the Aggies 21 to 26 and now have an all-time record of 26, 40, and four against Utah State. I'm excited today to be joined by former Cowboy football quarterback and UW alumnus, Casey Bramlett. Casey, welcome today and look forward to hearing about some of your memories as a Cowboy. And if we could start today, please share when you played for the Cowboys, what was your position, and then the degree you earned at UW. Hey, Keener. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, I was a quarterback at the University of Wyoming. I was down in Laramie from 1999 through 2003, and I got my uh, degree in uh, business administration. And uh, give us a little bit from that time after you graduated, Casey, some about your pro career and then uh, what you're doing now. Yeah, so when I got done playing it in, in Laramie, I was fortunate enough to be drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals in 2004. Bounced around um, the NFLs and about, oh, six teams over the course of about six years. Got a chance to go over play in NFL Europe where I was on the Hamburg Sea Devils. When I was over there in 2007, we actually won the, the championship for the, uh, the World Bowl is what they call it over there. And got back from there and finished up my career with the uh, Winnipeg Blue Bombers in 2009. Since then, I started in 2010 back in Casper, Wyoming as a financial advisor. If I could just take you back just one little bit, uh, why don't you share with our viewing audience today about the special opportunity you had in the NFL Europe to play against your brother? Yeah, you know, uh, we, we joke about it all the time where we played on the same team our, our entire lives ever since we were little kids playing on the flag football team, the Broncos, all the way through the University of Wyoming. We had to go across the other side of the world to actually play against each other. So Corey was in Amsterdam and I was in Hamburg and we, uh, we played against each other twice. We won one and they won one. So it works out to kind of even in the end. Oh, that's special. Well, let's turn our attention to this week's opponent. You know, we'll be facing uh, Utah State. I want you to share a little bit about uh, your memories around playing Utah State th that year. Yeah, you know, we were actually coming off a, a tough time, not first for the university, but also kind of the country. That was um, 2001, right after the World Trade Centers were bombed on September 11th. A few days later, we lost eight cross-country members of our, our cross-country team in an unfortunate vehicle accident. And so it was a, a, we were going through a tough time. Game got delayed. We were supposed to play Kansas, and that game got delayed So until the following week. And coming in, coming into that game, just kind of one of those old shootouts where it seemed like whatever team had the ball last was going to win. It was my first year as full time starter. Uh, we had played Furman, I think, the first game of the season mm -hmm. and, and beat them, lost to uh, Texas A&M. And then coming into that game was kind of the game that we just kind of broke out on offense. Uh, it seems like whoever had the ball last was going to win the game. Uh, Ryan McGuffey, I think, went for over 100 yards. Malcolm Floyd, I went for over 100 yards. And then Scotty Vines, he had one catch, long touchdown, but he probably had the biggest play that day and maybe the biggest play of the season for us that year. They came back, and we thought we're going to tie it up kind of as, as time expired. It was 42 to 43. We were up by one point. And they brought Scotty in to, on the PAT block. I think both he and Malcolm were both in on the PAT block. And sure enough, Scotty jumped up, blocked the extra point to preserve the win for us by one point. So it was, it was one of those games where you had, the motions were swinging both ways, where you thought you had the game won, and then you thought you were going to either lose or head into overtime to him blocking that play on something that usually doesn't happen very often. And it was just um, – it was, it was a good, good experience. It was a great game. I think I threw for over 400 yards, and we got to celebrate a victory. Well, Casey, again, this week we battle Utah State. It's been quite a year so far with ups and downs. Uh, what kind of personal encouragement could you encourage the team with today? Yeah, you know what, guys? I know it's been a, been a challenging year. Nobody would have expected this uh, to, to be the way it has been. Coming off a week where you had an unexpected bye week with Air Force, just hang in there. 
I think we can uh, get this victory, pull out the Bridger battle against Utah State. I know it's been rivalry for a long time. So good luck and go Pokes. Thank you, Casey. We really appreciate your time. No problem. Thank you, Keener. The UWAA wants to celebrate with you wherever you are watching the Cowboys play. Take a photo or video of your Cowboy football celebration using the hashtag Pokes at Home and tag the UW Alumni Association for a chance to win two UWAA pullovers. We will choose the most spirited submission and will contact you if you are the winner. The game will air Thursday, November 19 on CBS Sports Network at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. You can also listen to the radio on your favorite Wyoming radio station on the Cowboy Sports Network. Thank you again to Black Hills Energy, Premier Bone and Joint Centers, and the UW University Store. Let's get that cowboy spirit going by singing along with us to Ragtime Cowboy Joe. He always sings Happy for the